Hey friends, Jason here for Truck Guys, taking a look at our coronavirus names. I hope you had a great Easter weekend. The Premier of BC, where I live, declared a exemption allowing the bunny to break quarantine, come out and give uh, some candies out for the kids. So it was just a lot of fun. I hope you had a safe weekend and managed to get outside a little bit. Anyway, let's start with APT on the daily. APT on the daily time frame is looking interesting. We're coming down and we actually breached the support for March 31st at 11.55. Today's lower day was 11.50. That's a five cent breach. So really, we have to examine what happened on the sub time frames and we need to decide, is this going to be an important level for us to worry about or are we gonna focus on 8.56 as this low? Really, I think that this is an ideal place for a higher low to form on the daily time frame. So uh, maybe we'll come down and test 11.50, 11.55 again, that zone of support. But if I'm going to look for a daily higher low, this is not a bad place for me to start scouting for a reversal on the daily time frame. So I'm going to be zooming in, paying close attention to what's happening on the sub time frames and see if I can't find a higher low here. If we lose 11.50 conclusively tomorrow, then we're, we're looking at 8.50 support. So let's check out the four hour time frame. Here we can see that we have a four hour lower low, lower high pattern, but we are seeing a tightening range. So there's a possibility that we could draw a wedge here. Again, 11.55, 11.50, let's focus on the short term price action, knowing and expecting that there should be a zone of support here around 11.50. If we go to the hourly time frame, we try to determine if this is a more clear pattern for us. And you know, it's not really a clear pattern as far as drawing a wedge goes. But what we can do is take a look at this action and try to fit a line of best fit and just see what feels right. And you know, this is not a beautiful wedge. It doesn't have those, those highs and lows and those multiple points of con confirmation. That's the word I'm looking for. But I do see tightening range. I'm at an area of known support. What I would like to see would be a nice hourly trend change. I would take an entry on an hourly end churn change with a uh, stop loss around 11.49 or so, just giving the bulls a little bit of room to work with around the space of support. If that does indeed break bull, then we can look at upside continuation on this daily tightening range, and then we'd have initial resistance at the high of 14.20, and then there's a few over here, but we'll likely be closer to those should we break bull in tomorrow's video. If not, 8.56 is support on APT. On the daily time frame for LAKE, a similar pattern in the sense that we are looking for a daily higher low here, and we would like Thursday's low of 14.16 to be that higher low, and that would give us a nice little, nice little bump. Not too aggressive, but what's interesting is that as we head up into this range, there's that clear resistance at 18.80. So we are setting lower, higher lows, but we are setting lower highs in the daily. So this could be a very, very long term and not exactly elegant equilibrium. So on the daily time frame, we've got daily resistance at 18.41 and 18.80. Pretty aggressive candlestick today, closing over our EMA 26. On the four hour time frame, we are trying to break this four hour lower high, lower low pattern with our new low. Now we got a higher high. Now we need to establish a higher low over 1416. So that means we need to go to the hourly time frame and look for some signs of consolidation. We don't see anything yet, but we are overbought. So I would look for hourly consolidation as soon as we stop gaining these higher lows. Meaning, here's our low, a higher low, higher low, higher low. You get the idea. As soon as we stop getting those higher lows and we break that pattern, we look for hourly consolidation. We see how far that hourly consolidation is gonna take us. If we come down, let's theorize here a little bit. Let's say we break higher lows and we come down to, I don't know, testing the support of this area, uh, that low in the four hour time frame. That gets us right into EMA 12 territory, which is not a bad place to scout on a four hour higher low into upside continuation. And that's just one of the many possibilities that we will look for. But ultimately, it comes down to those trend changes. Let's see what the hourly bulls are able to do and see where they can take this tightening range on the daily time frame. CODX on the daily. Let's clear our charts a little bit. Similar situation, we've got ourselves our low, our lower low, now a higher low with bulls holding once again, it looks like this area support, 854. Today's low of day, 855. Yesterday's, or Thursday's 853, before that 854. So there is absolutely a zone of support here. Bulls have decided to take this break to the upside. We have resistance at high day and at 1120. On the four hour time frame, you can see that tightening range almost around the bottom. Bulls just went for today and are in control of the hourly time frame, but we still need to establish a hourly higher low. So if you miss this breakout, your opportunity is not passed yet. We need to see some consolidation and we can look for a possible bull flag or pennant or equilibrium or some sort of consolidation pattern to follow this breakout as the RSI cools off from plus 70 on the hourly time frame. 
BIR on the daily, taking a look, a little bit of the opposite pattern. We are, we are seeing lower lows and bulls are trying to determine, are we going to change course and follow the other tickers in the bullish direction? Right now, I don't see much strength on BIR. We saw a bullish attempt, but that managed to sell off for most of the day. So I'm gonna be looking for a loss to this higher low pattern into more downside. That's the most likely scenario at this point because bulls just have not proven anything. In order for bulls to prove something for me to be interested in, I'm going to need to see a break over 3237. That would be a potential hourly trend change as we have just barely higher lows on the hourly. And now we need to change that trend conclusively with a high over 3237, then a higher low. Then we start talking about the four hour trend changing and doing something because this messy uh, chart over here is not giving us a lot of clarity on the daily. A ticker with bulls in full control. NVAX on the daily time frame. We hit an inside bar today. It looks like we just barely broke that range. And uh, we'll take a look at exactly what happened here. But eight, seven, uh, 1785 was the resistance from high day on Thursday. Today was a high of 1789, so a four cent break. And then not a lot of bearish follow through that I can see on the daily time frame. We'll take a look at the five minute, but an inside bar, I would be trading this as a inside bar with a zone of resistance that is not broken. So I am still interested in this one. If we see a bull break over 1785 or 1789, most, most likely 18 psychological, then we have our next resistance at 1825. So if bulls can get over that, we're pretty much in blue sky territory, unless we go way, way back here. And you know what? A massive area of no resistance. Bulls can really do something spectacular with this if they decide to make that happen. So keeping a close eye and a break over 18 psych in 1825. If we lose our low of day, we have 1681 support. We have 1630 support, 16 psych support. And then we're back down here in the 14s. Taking a look at the four hour time frame for some clues, a little bit of volatility, not giving us much information on the four hour, but the hourly is in a nice uptrend. And we can see that 1825 is going to be the key resistance with a pre-market break uh, this morning, reaching that 18 psychological without much follow through or resistance. So an interesting situation developing on NVAX. Keep a close eye for resistance in that area tomorrow. It's all about 18 psych for regular trading action for me. On the daily time frame, we should be cautious though, as we are nearing overbought conditions and certainly in a place where we can look for daily higher lows with our last low being down at 1438. That's it for today. I'm gonna head outside, check out some animals, get some sun, encourage you to do the same. Stay safe, talk to you later.